everybody. Thank you for joining the ACA Small Business Boot Camp for this Tuesday, June 14th. We're excited to have everybody with us today. I'm Robert Theobald, Small Business Ombudsman and Vice President of Small Business Services at the Arizona Commerce Authority. We're glad to have you with us. As we like to do, we like to start these off by thanking all of our community partners. We could not do these boot camp sessions without them, their time, their effort, and their expertise. So for those not familiar with the Small Business Bootcamp, it is a webinar series that we developed a couple years ago designed to help small businesses prepare, plan, and grow. It is a statewide initiative supported by all of those community partners. And not only is it a webinar that we do every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., but it is also a content library. And for 2022, it is a series of workshops that we're doing with some of our community partners as well. So let's look at the content library a little bit. So the content library is where we house all of our recorded webinars. From the very beginning, we started recording our webinars because we know that many people cannot make the nine to 10 timeframe and they still want to view the content. So we record them and post them in our content library. And after more than two years of doing webinars multiple times a week at times, we have over 200 recorded presentations by our experts available uh, to small business owners, to anyone uh, on our website at no cost. And you can go on the content library and sort by these seven different categories um, to help narrow down the content and, and find the information you're looking for. Also, if there's a topic you just can't find, uh, let us know and we can try to direct you to that, to something that would fit those needs. The ACA also has a number of other programs to help support small business owners. We have our small business services, our workforce division, and our Arizona MEP. Additionally, we have our small business checklist, and this is designed to help entrepreneurs, those looking to start a business, those looking to grow or expand their business, a place where they can find the commonly requested licensing, reg registration, and compliance requirements at the local, state, and federal levels. You can also find other great information uh, surrounding starting a business or expanding your business on that checklist program. For quick licensing questions, uh, you can also go on there and in the right hand, bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see Sally, our virtual assistant, and you can utilize Sally to get some quick information, uh, but for more detailed stuff, you can dive right into the checklist and get the information you're looking for. Also, we like to share business updates. So this one last note, this program, the application window is closing very quickly. So I want to mention one last time is the Thrive Emerging Leaders Reimagine program. This is an SBA program. Um, it's kind of an intensive executive entrepreneurship series uh, to help small business owners become small business leaders. Um, and again, it is through the SBA. Uh, there is an application for it. And so that application window is closing quickly. We will post the uh, links to that in the chat. And they also want to remind everybody that's uh, from Santa Cruz County. This Santa Cruz County has a forgivable loan program that is being run through Prestamo CDFI. And we'll post the link for that program as well in the chat. So if you're from Santa Cruz County, your business is based there, uh, take a look at it. Another thing we want to share is our digital, our Small Business Digital Academy. We are getting ready to start our eighth cohort of this program. It is a six week program designed to help small businesses scale their online presence and build their digital capacity. And we opened the applications for our eighth cohort yesterday. So if you are interested in this program, uh, please go on and apply. A couple notes for this, it's no cost, but the, there is a time commitment. It takes about four hours a week of your time, a couple hours on our live session, and then doing some of the work during the week uh, between sessions. So it is not just a webinar series, is it a, it's, it's a six week uh, class program uh, where you will have some additional work besides the uh, webinar or the live sessions. So uh, please be mindful of that, but it is open now. So if it's something you want to improve upon, uh, please feel free to apply. Uh, to liken it to a school type situation, it is a 101 level class. It's not advanced digital capacity. 
stuff, but it is entry level to help people understand the needs um, as they're starting a business or growing a business, uh, depending on where they're at. Uh, so with that, we want to jump into our upcoming sessions. So next week, we have our 10 legal mistakes to avoid destroying your business. Uh, then we have achieving a strategy to achieving success. Uh, we've got a great new presenter there. We're looking forward to that session. Uh, we have some cost cutting and managing cash flows uh, from our friends at Yahoo Pike College SPDC on the 12th. And then on July 19th, habits for successful growth. You'll notice in there, we're skipping a week. Uh, we chose not to do one on July 5th, since uh, we know most people will be out doing activities on July 4th and probably not wanting to jump on a webinar early the following morning. So we are gonna let her take a break for one week from the, the boot camps, and then we will pick back up on July 12th. So we are taking the week of July 4th off uh, from the boot camp series. So with that, let's jump into today's session. Uh, today we are talking about CRMs and it's a, a great topic um, because CRMs are very important for businesses, especially as you start to grow your business. And today we have Alex Magianis from Prestamo CDFI. He is a business advisor there and we're excited to have him with us. So Alex, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and turn the time over to you. Thank you so much, Robert. It's a pleasure to be here. And so um, I am greeting each one of you all the way from Sawarita, Arizona in Southern, um, Southern Arizona. I'm going to go ahead and get the presentation started. So if you allow me just a few seconds. And so while Alex is getting that set up, if you have questions for him, please post those in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. And then we can save the chat for information um, that we may need to share or for interaction that Alex may want uh, throughout the presentation. And you guys can see the screen, correct? Yep, looks good. Okay, perfect. So once again, Robert, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Faith, for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. So today we're going to be talking about what are the best practices for CRM success. Uh, as Robert mentioned, my name is Alex Marayanes. I am a small business advisor, as well as the SBA Prime Program Manager, which I'm going to share about here in a few minutes. Uh, but before we jump into the presentation, I want to share with you uh, about Prestamo CDFI. You can see it on my t-shirt, you can see it on my background. Uh, so Prestamo CDFI is a division for Chicano Sport La Causa, uh, which was established in 1980. Um, uh, but Chicanos for La Causa, or better known as CPLC, was established in 1969, and it's a leading Hispanic nonprofit organization in the United States. Uh, CDFI stands for Community Development Financial Institution, and we are also a community development entity. And with these two certifications means that we can be a, uh, we are uh, certified uh, with the U.S. Treasury to provide also SBA lending. And so within Prestambo CDFI, again, being a division or the economic development division of CPLC, we provide economic development and small business growth uh, through small business lending and education. So those are the two main focuses that, of what we do within Prestambo CDFI. Um, just some housekeeping items for today's presentations. All questions are, <clears throat> excuse me, are welcome. If you can see at the bottom of your screen, there's a little icon that says Q&A. You can start typing in your questions there throughout the presentation. And then at the end of the presentation, we're going to spend time answering each one of those questions. And so please feel free to answer any question that you may have. All questions are welcome. If you desire a copy of the presentation, uh, there's two ways that you can get it. Number one, this session is being recorded, so you can always jump in back into the library that Robert was uh, sharing with us. And, or you can email me, as you can see the email on your screen, alex.marianis.cplc.org, and I can, I'll be more than glad to send you a copy of the slide deck that you see on your screen. Uh, for today, we're going to be covering uh, what is a CRM? Why use a CRM? When is the appropriate time to use a CRM? And uh, what options are there? So I'm going to share with you the, the top five CRMs for 2022. 
These are the top writers for this year. And, and then of course, I'm going to share about some other resources that we have through Prestamos and the SBA Prime. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So number one, what is a CRM? CRM stands for it, uh, Customer Relationship Management System, or simply Customer Relationship Management. Um, it will be it's some type of software or program that you can either download on your computer or have it on a mobile device, uh, or that you can have access to via cloud or via server in order for you to manage the relationships with your existing customers or your new customer potential leads. That's basically what a CRM is. Now, CRM used to be, uh, back in the day, I remember when it used to be mainly to just, you know, dump all the data, right, for our customers, contact information, emails, phone numbers, addresses. But now CRMs have become so much more robust that actually they can help you in things such as strategy, marketing, uh, doing analysis, and provides customer service support for your clients and even uh, um, lead generation. So uh, CRMs are becoming more and more robust with today's technology. And so they are allowing us as small business owners uh, do so much more within one single hub, if you will, or one single software where you can do all the things that you see on your screen, such as strategy, service, sales, provide support. Uh, manage orders, inventory, so on and so forth. Now, when looking into a CRM or a customer relationship management system, uh, a CRM should come with a variety of features and tools that are going to be uh, meeting the needs of your small business or your enterprise. It should also benefit your specific business type of model and your goals. Um, as, uh, as well as the type of, this, uh, depending on the sector that you operate in. And a CRM should streamline processes and improve the service that your business offers. Uh, as I mentioned, a CRM can be so robust, but there's so many CRMs out there. So uh, we're going to be covering the top five for, uh, or the top rated, the, the top five uh, that have been the most rated for 2022. Uh, and, and so you can make a decision on that, uh, on whether you should, you should be using a CRM or not. Um, why use a CRM? Well, um, a CRM has many, many uh, different reasons of why you should be using one. Uh, but I, I'm giving you five points of why I strongly believe that as a small business owner, you should be uh, using a customer relationship management. Uh, you should be using a CRM because it should allow you to keep and maintain the existing customer relationships and also start new relationships, right? Those, lead, uh, those leads that you need to create and generate. Um, a CRM should allow you to create repeatable client-based sales processes uh, and to be able to offer that sales process to existing clients and new clients as they come through your virtual doors, if you will, or as they come through your doors. And so you create a repeatable process. And also it should allow you, a CRM should allow you that if you, as you bring people on board, uh, employees um, or you're training um, um, your workforce into the sales process, a CRM should make it very easy for you to just uh, train them and then it creates this repeatable process, right? For sales, for customer service, uh, to keep and maintain existing relationships and of course, start new relationships. Uh, um, another reason of why you should use a CRM is because it should build integrations and automations within your business so that it can help your processes and systems that you already have established or you're looking to establish as you grow. And lastly, a, another reason why you should use the CRM is because they sh should allow you to provide great customer service. Uh, service. Uh, you know, if as a consumer, you know, how many times, you know, you, you've called a, you know, I, I don't know, a, let's say the cable company, right? Because you're experiencing an issue or the solar panels, and then you talk to a representative and you explain what your situation is, what the issue is, they, they put you on hold, 
they are like, you know, hold on, this actually uh, pertains to so-and-so department. And then they transfer you over and guess what? You have to repeat yourself all over again, right? Well, uh, when a, a user, a consumer experiences that over and over, that's kind of very bad customer service. So a CRM uh, makes it easier for you to provide great customer service, uh, process your orders, marketing, sales, support, inside the company or your business or in outside the company, even um, to establish processes and systems that are going to make it easy to create a relationships with your existing vendors as well. It's not just your, uh, your customers, but your existing vendors and suppliers. Now, the question I always get is, should I be using a CRM, Alex? You know, I am a, a brand new uh, business I've been established for two weeks. Should I be using a CRM? Well, when is a good time to use one? And I always, I, I always answer the, the, the time is now. Uh, I always recommend for you, if you've been newly established, for you to um, start using a CRM almost immediately for these various reasons. Not having a customer data uh, in one single database can be truly chaotic. I've seen, I've seen clients that they have uh, notebooks and notebooks of customer uh, information, you know, that's where they write down the phone numbers, their addresses, uh, even appointments that they have, and it's, it's, it can be chaotic. And so a CRM should allow you to dump all that information in one single place and then um, create notifications. Right now, everything, all of us carry one of these in our pockets, right? A mobile device. And so we should be able to <coughs> Excuse me, most CRMs should be able to in, be integrated with your calendar, with your email, so that you can get notifications. And that way, you can have a smoother process as you deal with existing customers and new customers. And again, you could be also dealing with vendors, suppliers, and, um, and other stakeholders, right? Um, another reason why you should be using a CRM is because you could be losing money in sales by failing to establish a sales process. Uh, a CRM will allow you to create a sales flow, right? Um, so, that, so that it's always repeatable and there's establishes a process in that way you're not treating one customer one certain way and a, another customer a different way. So it creates this consistency, not only in the sales process, but also of your brand as a, as a small business owner. A uh, customer, uh, if customers are forced, as I was mentioning earlier, to repeat themselves every single time they contact you, uh, that may not be uh, very good customer service. So they may not contact you the next time. And so a CRM makes it easy, right? Uh, I've, I've always been delighted when, you know, I call a company and they take good notes. And then next time I call again, they, they because they took very good notes, they, they typed in it, typed them into the CRM. The next rep is able to, oh, you know, hey, you know, we, uh, we heard you were on vacation. How's your vacation? And so it creates the experience like, oh, you know, you actually remember that I mentioned I was on vacation because the representative that I was speaking to took the time to place notes. Where, well, that system where that, play, that person was placing notes, it's a CRM. It's a customer relation management. And so it's always cool to be able to type in when is your customer's birthday? Uh, if there's uh, a life experience, right? Uh, a life change that they're expecting or you know, a dear one passed away. To be able to have all that information, not just for the sake of customer service, but also for the sake of establishing long-term relationships uh, so that you can have them come back to your business because of the good customer service. And a CRM will allow you to do all that. Uh, and lastly, uh, using a CRM should avoid uh, growing pains by building workflows, contracts, invoices, and of course, customer service protocols. And all that, even if you are newly established, you, even if you're you know, just a solopreneur, uh, just getting started, I truly encourage you to get a CRM. So what options are there? Um, the top five CRMs in 2020, 2022 are is uh, Salesforce, Fresh Sales, uh, I think Fresh Works instead of Fresh Sales, my apologies, Soho, Hotspot, and Streak. 
So let's start with Salesforce. Uh, while Salesforce is perhaps the uh, best known as the market leading CRM giant, uh, and it's very good at managing operations at the enterprise level, they also offer solutions for small business owners. So they provide a um, all-in-one solution for sales, service, marketing needs. Uh, Salesforce offers competitive plans for smaller businesses with the small business pricing solutions. Now, the essential packages that they provide, they have both sales and customer service in one single application, and they usually start with $25 per user per month. Uh, this means that small business owners can enjoy the power of marketing CRM at a lower price. So overall, Salesforce Enterprise is intuitive and sales-focused, but you can customize features like dashboards and reports and to match your businesses, business needs or personalize uh, the user experience. <coughs> Excuse me. The CRM also boasts additionally additional features to streamline your sales and business processes, including internal communication tools, like on-screen calls, uh, easy creation of a client knowledge base, data export, email templates, and third-party tools. Um, so they can get, <clears throat> Salesforce is easy to get integrated with other applications so, such as Slack. Uh, and the main reason to avoid Salesforce uh, would be typically because they can be more expensive than competitors and they do not have a free plan available. Uh, it's very good. I've used it before. I've used it for several years and it does include um, advanced customization depending on your small business. Um, <clears throat> it is very sales oriented. So, you know, if your small business model it's all about sales and creating leads, then you probably want to look into Salesforce. And it's also great for marketing purposes. Uh, the type of support that they offer, if you have an issue with the CRM, it's usually via email. So you send an email to open up a ticket and the turnaround can be anywhere between two to three business days for them to get back to you. Or you can simply just call them. The next one, uh, the second top rated is uh, Freshworks. So Freshworks uh, provides a variety of tools that make it simple for small, small and mid-sized businesses to support their clients, understand customer intent, and efficiently convert leads into sales. A combination of the Freshworks automation software, the Fresh Sales Suite, is the all-in-one CRM software that unites sales and marketing. Utilizing the intelligent Freddy AI assistant, the Fresh Sales provides transparent insights into customer engagement, helping businesses discover leads, close deal deals, and nurture client relationships. The software also has an intuitive user-friendly interface on both desktop and mobile. So for those of you that are always on the go, you're always meeting clients, at their uh, business place, or you're, you know, you're always meeting clients um, outside of your office. Freshworks may be something that you may look into because they do have an interface that is good both for laptop and mobile devices. And so this provides a fast access to client records and communications if you're always on the go. Uh, you can integrate third party tools like Gmail and Outlook. Uh, you can also, uh, that would all, this integration will allow you to create bulk email templates while monitoring both the sent and the received communications to prospective clients. So you can see, you know, how many emails were sent, how many of them were open, if they clicked on a link that you put inside the email body. Um, and so it allows you to see all that. Uh, whoever uh, acquires this uh, CRM or small business owners can also utilize the built-in call feature to automatically update client records. So one is, that's one of the cool features that you can use with CRMs like this, that you can have everything in one single place, even place phone calls from inside the CRM. While the CRM is lacking lead generation tools like business card scanners, and it provides custom web forms. This is the best thing. This is the, my favorite thing about Freshworks, that um, it provides you custom, customizable web forms to capture lead data from your business website. 
ideal for small businesses looking to grow their client base. So uh, this is pretty cool because uh, these form templates that they offer, you can embed them in, um, inside your website. Um, and so if someone goes to your website and wanna learn more about your, your products or your services and they fill out the form, every single field goes directly and it creates a record for that specific person. And so you don't have to be doing double the entry. It just goes directly into the CRM and it already creates a record for that person so that you can start the relationship. That's pretty cool, uh, given that most CRMs uh, that I've seen so far, they don't offer that. Good, uh, we're doing good. Let me see. Um, Okay, I'm just looking to see how we're doing on the questions. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, place those in the chat or in the Q&A Q icon that you see at the bottom. All right, so let's go to the next one. The next one is going to be uh, not Salesforce, but it's going to be Soho. There we go. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Uh, Soho, it's a powerful cloud-based CRM. So everything is in the cloud and they have excellent customer management and lead generation tools. Uh, Soho is the well-equipped, uh, <clears throat> is very well-equipped to assist in running a small business. The other piece that I like about Soho is that uh, while they don't, they, they don't, um, the platform is very easy to use. It doesn't compromise the capability. So, um, and it's also, it's, it's very well integrated with any other products that Soho offers. And we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. Um, the features the software of Soho offers is the ability to search social media and LinkedIn to capture your new customer context. This is a pretty cool tool, guys, that I've seen or I've used before, uh, because if you, your main market, or well, your target market, it's mainly found in social media such as uh, Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, the cool thing is if you, through Soho, you go into LinkedIn, you can capture the contact uh, customer, um, the, excuse me, the customer contact information. Uh, and that way you can create a new lead. You can also scan business cards and provide automated workflows to assist uh, your sales team. Alongside this, you can benefit from reporting client contact and communication records, website visitor segmentation, and pipeline management. The main uh, pro uh, CRM, or the one that is paid, the premium one, um, it's, it's very, um, the seamless integration with other Soho tools, such as the sales, the marketing, and project management, uh, Soho invoices, Soho campaigns. So Soho is very robust. And the only thing with Soho is they separate uh, certain uh, features, right? And so if you want to integrate your Soho CRM with the Soho marketing, you can do it. It will be for a small price, but it's very easy to integrate and they communicate very, very smoothly. Uh, the time that I've used uh, Soho, it was actually pretty cool. Uh, if you are doing sales outside of the United States, and, or you have customers outside of the United States, it's very easy also to change all those part armors, including um, currency as well. And so if you create a sales process or you create a product that people can buy outside of the United States, um, it can track all those things in there in the existing currency that you're selling your product or service if it's in a different country. Um, and so one of the things that also I like about Soho is the, the the piece that um, the uh, going back to the marketing piece, you know, since digital marketing is my main niche uh, that I work with, is the, the the ability to just gather all the content information if you find your client on a social media platform, and so Soho can do that. And so, it, for me, that's amazing because it saves me time, right? Uh, uh, and you can also scan business cards and it creates a lead for you. Um, and there it goes, Soho. That is Soho for you guys. My second uh, most favorite one would be Hotspot, which is the next one. Uh, this is actually one that I currently use for a couple of my businesses here in Tucson. 
Uh, one of the things that I love about uh, Hotspot is they do have a forever or free forever plan available. And so I've been using the free plan since 2018 and it's truly free. And of course, if you wanna pay for the upgraded versions for, uh, for marketing purposes, for uh, leads generation, other things, it's pretty cool. Um, it's $45 for two users every month. Um, but I haven't had the need and I own a couple of businesses and this is what I use and I haven't had the need to upgrade to the paid version because the, the free version is actually pretty robust, including the email marketing piece of it. Uh, so Hotspot is an ideal CRM solution for small businesses that are just starting out. While there are several pay plans, you can also get started for free uh, with a lightweight um, yet powerful version of the CRM, as I mentioned earlier. So any user of the free Hotspot CRM can benefit from highly capable client database software to assist in managing and maintaining new leads with dashboard reporting, company insights, deal tracking, and pipeline management, all of which are portrayed simply via the user-friendly interface. The other thing too that you can do with Hotspot is you can assign a customer. So if you have employees and you want, you know, little Johnny to take care of this new customer, you can assign every single contact uh, or the contacts that you want your employee to take care of. And so, and then you can keep track of what's been um, the, the sales process or where are they are with each of those relationships. A wide range of free tools is also at your disposal to organize your customer journey, including email tracking and templates, which is my favorite, favorite thing about the hotspot. Uh, they also have on-screen calling and contact management. Plus, you can enjoy integration for over 300 third-party apps like Slack, along with lead generation software. That's another piece that I forgot to mention that Hotspot, it's, uh, it can be easily integrated with Slack, it can be easily integrated with Trello, uh, and so many other <clears throat> softwares that can help you just um, better manage your customer relationships. If you fancy upgrading from the free plan, both the sales and marketing hubs start at $45 a month for two user, users with additional features like task automation, notifications, and conversation routing included. Uh, we have Michelle, she's saying in the chat, I have the standard hotspot package, not the pro version since I don't have multiple working the leads. Okay, yeah. Yeah, same here, uh, Michelle. I've been using the, actually, I've been using the free version and I feel pretty happy about it. Um, the favorite thing that I like about Hotspot guys, and again, you know, obviously I just like it. They're not, you know, I'm not, we're not sponsored by Hotspot. So, um, but it sounds like a free commercial, but uh, the Hotspot, one of the things that I found about Hotspot as well is that it can be, you can integrate Gmail or Outlook and so if a new uh, lead emails you, the hotspot gathers their information automatically and creates a record under your database automatically. And so it, it has saved me so much time. And um, you know, instead of doing all that data entry for every lead, it has saved me so much time um, ever since I've been using it. Yep, that's true. Yes, thank you, Michelle. Um, and the last one, number five, is Streak. This is, I have to, I have to confess, this is a new one for me. I had never heard about them, uh, but apparently it's very good. So for existing users of Gmail and Google Workspace, um, it's actually now called uh, Google, um, it's, it's, it's a Google Workspace, yeah. Uh, so if you're getting your, your email uh, service through Google, right, uh, using your domain, um, or you're simply using Gmail, Streak is the simplest CRM to incorporate into your daily operations of your small business. It is built directly into Gmail, so you can work from your inbox and enjoy integration with other Google Workspace apps like Sheets, Docs, uh, Google Drive, Google Chat, uh, all of those, uh, in order to help you keep all of your data accessible in one single place. I have never tried this, but I think this is very cool that it's integrated directly with Gmail. Uh, Streak CRM allows you to track client emails, manage contacts, monitor leads, and keep on top of your sales funnel. 
So you can capture leads directly from your contracts, uh, excuse me, contacts, track and share client interactions, um, easily import a, or export data, create custom pipelines and set tasks and reminders among, among other things. So I am imagining that uh, Street can also be integrated with your Google Calendar. Uh, if you're like me, right, that I put everything on my calendar every single time I get an appointment or have something so I don't forget. It looks like uh, Streak is pretty cool um, in, in um, collaborating, right, or working along uh, any Google application, if you will. Uh, with a forever free plan, excuse me, <coughs> offering basic CRM to individual professionals and a solo basic plan started at $15 per month. Streak CRM is highly affordable for single professionals or small teams and businesses. However, it can get a little pricey if you are working with a larger team. Uh, the pro or the premium pro plan starting at $49 per user per month for the larger teams. So I think Streak is for, uh, for those uh, solopreneurs. Uh, I can imagine maybe like a realtor, right? If you, if you are in real estate business and um, you're always working uh, on your own, right? Just meeting with clients. I think Streak is pretty cool because it integrates directly with your uh, Google Workspace if that's what you are using. I didn't read anything about Streak being able to integrate with Outlook, uh, but it seems that this is uh, Streak was mainly created to integrate with Google Workspace and any application that Google offers, such as Google uh, Drive, Documents, Sheets, Calendar, and all of the above, uh, which I think I'm going to give it a try sometime later down the year on top of using Hotspot just because I really like it, uh, like those features. The other piece that I like about um, I, that eventually uh, I may give it a try is Soho because I do um, get a lot of leads from social media platforms. And so if Soho will allow me to simply gather that contact information, that may be a benefit uh, for you. I do recommend for you to uh, uh, just to find and weigh out the options uh, and see what's going to be work best for your business model. Um, again, whether you're, you, you know, if you're a newly established business, I certainly recommend for you to just get started with some type of CRM. And it may not be any of these five that I just mentioned. You may be already using another one. Um, uh, most also, uh, most um, uh, credit card, debit card processing uh, services such as Square, uh, Clover, uh, what else? You know, even PayPal, they also try to integrate some type of CRM so that you can have all information in one single place, not just process debit cards or payments. And so if you are using any of those, I've, I have found that Square has been very easy and very user-friendly for some of my clients because they already been using Square to process payments. And then it, it found out that you can also um, create leads. You can also create um, some kind of marketing and sales processes, but they're not as robust as these five that we just mentioned. And so, um, so there you go, guys, those are CRMs for you. And um, as I mentioned, we have some uh, resources for you uh, offered by Prestamo CDFI. My favorite one is uh, the No Cost One-on-One -on -one Business Advisors. You can simply go to prestamosloans.org forward slash business empowerment services. And what you can get if, if you are needing um, access to a business consultant, you can get one-on-one um, -on -one consultation, training, and coaching at no cost to you. All you have to do is sign up. Uh, and so I'm asking anyone, if you're a small business owner, please, you know, um, utilize these services. Um, uh, they're free. So, you know, why not take advantage of them? And the other piece that we do have a coming events also that you can look into our calendar by going to prestamosloans.org forward slash events. And we also, as I mentioned earlier, another piece of Prestamos uh, is that we offer business financing. So, you know, you can definitely visit that website that you see uh, on, your, on your screen or simply email my colleague, Mark, that McKenna at cplc.org if you have any questions in regards to uh, business financing. And now I think we can uh, 
go into Q and A. Yep. And Alex, while you're looking at those questions in the Q and A, I just want to reiterate on the no cost one on one business counseling that they do. It's part of the SBA Prime program, and and Chris Damos and the CPLC have been awarded um, that grant from the SBA to be able to do that one on one um, counseling. So it's a great program. Um, that's available to you at no cost. Also, while he's looking at those, I'm going to mention one other uh, CRM software that's local. It's uh, based in Chandler. It's called, most people know it from Infusionsoft, and they recently did a brand change to Keep, K-E-A-P. I'm going to post their website in the chat, but they are a local company as well, um, and so they have a CRM package um that is available for businesses um though their free version is only for two weeks and then you have to pay so um but they are another option as well so that's awesome so yeah we do have some questions um um and i can get started with okay. Uh, the one from evelyn it says can you talk about the lead generation or how these programs can help so um, my understanding is um, CRM such as, um, well, actually all five of them, <clears throat> but mainly uh, Salesforce, Soho, and Hotspot, and I would say Streak as well. Um, any lead generation, it can be anyone that may show interest, right? Um, or become, maybe may become aware of your brand. Uh, some of these CRMs have the ability for you, whether, you, you know, if you are in a networking event and you end up with a bunch of business cards, some of these CRMs have the ability for you, for you to be able to scan them and then it processes all the information and it creates a record so that you can follow up with them, right? And those are lead generations. And, and so that can help. If you already have a sales process uh, where, you know, most people have like an awareness phase Right, um, and then the next phase will be, uh, you know, establishing a an appointment, and then um, weighing options for the customers, and then converting that lead. Right, if you already have a sales phase or a sales process <clears throat> in the in establishing the CRM, that's how these um, CRMs can help you know where each lead is at. Right, well, you know. This lead, he only became aware of our services, but he decided it's not the time to right now to convert. Okay, and then you can place notes there and then give a follow-up in the next 90 days, if you will. So that's how some ways that you can, um, these CRMs can help uh, with your lead generation until they become a fully converted uh, customer. Uh, and I hope that helps. Um, uh, the next one is uh, all the pricing that you are providing, do these remain the prices after the trial periods? For my understanding, it's yes. Um, and so if you notice some of these have a trial period, I think the one that has the longest is, I um, uh, can't remember, I think it was uh, Salesforce was the one that has the longest trial period, which is 30 days. All the other ones have like 21 days, 14 days, so on and so forth. Um, but I would say definitely do your, uh, do your homework, right, in finding out if these prices remain the same after the trial period ends. And then as part of you weighing out which CRM will be a best fit for your business. Uh, can you segment different types of sales channels with all of these programs? <laughs> uh, yes, it looks like excuse me, the ones that you can segment uh, the most will be Salesforce, Soho, and Hotspot. Uh, Freshworks and Streak are mainly for like lead generation and doing some marketing. So I would definitely look into those three, Salesforce, Soho, and Hotspot in order to segment sales channels. Um, I Again, Freshworks and Streak have been, um, they seem to be more helpful when you are on the go and you want to integrate. you <clears throat> excuse me, your CRM for lead generations. I didn't read a lot about uh, being able to segment your sales channels, but I've used uh, Soho Hotspot and Salesforce, and those are the ones that I, yeah, I know for a fact that you can segment your sales channels. Um, 
question. Uh, next question is from Steve. It says, which of these top five CRMs um, have the best importing feature if we already are using something like monday.com or just a spreadsheet? Um, man, I wanna, I wanna say <clears throat> for what I read, each one of them except streak. Uh, although, you know, I, have, I haven't uh, interacted with Streak personally. It's a new one for me. So that's something you may be able to explore. But uh, I, the first one that I ever used was Salesforce and it, it was super easy to just import contacts or databases. The second one that I actually started using for one of my businesses was Soho and they made it very easy. And the one that I'm using now, which is Hotspot, it's, uh, it's also very easy to import lists. As a matter of fact, uh, we just finished having a series of workshops for the Santa Cruz County for Give It Alone and all those spreadsheets for people that were signing in for the workshops that were easily uploaded using Hotspot into an entire database. And so those three that I just mentioned, uh, Salesforce, Soho, and Hotspot are the ones that I experienced that the most and that they have made it super easy for, uh, for me to simply uh, import all those contexts. And so I hope that helps. Um, Alex, I am very, <clears throat> I'm a very new business owner and new to the CRM platforms. Can you explain how this plan, of, the free plan works? Yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry guys. Um, the free plan, um, they have access. So any free plan, I think, um, let me see, uh, Streak has a free plan available. Hotspot does have one too. Soho has one too. And I believe Freshworks has a free plan available except for Salesforce. Salesforce doesn't have a free plan. Um, and <clears throat> the free plans allow you to have the basics of the CRM, which is importing contacts, creating contacts, creating leads. Uh, even email campaigns, uh, doing on-screen calls, note, uh, creating notes, uh, setting up appointments, creating some sales channels. All those features are free for the most part. And if you want to start integrating other things, other things like analyzing, uh, you know, website traffic, um, uh, what, what would be some other the features, some upgrade features for email marketing, uh, so on and so forth. That's where you have to start, start paying. Uh, but just the basic features for some of these are actually, especially if you are barely getting started as a, as a, as a small business owner, honestly, I would say that that would be basically what you need in order for you to get started. The, the purpose here, guys, is for you to be able to set yourself for success and for growth. And so that you have everything in one single place uh, instead of having a note over here in one notebook and then a note over here in a different notebook or, right? And so a CRM allows you to have all your uh, existing clients and new clients in one single place. And one of the best things that I use them for, especially if it's a free one, is I can set up appointments, I can set up notifications or, or reminders, uh, right? So that I can provide that great customer service to my clients. And so if you are getting started, I truly recommend just use one of the free ones, explore all the options, try to exhaust all the free options as much as possible. And then as your business grows, if you really feel like, man, I really need to pay for the upgraded one because I'm growing, then go ahead and explore those options. Uh, but definitely take advantage of all the free plans available. Uh, does Hotspot have the Instagram and LinkedIn lead generation like Soho? And that's something that I have not seen, Evelyn. Uh, with Hotspot, uh, to be honest. The, the one thing I do know that the Hotspot allows you to, to do is you can integrate the, the social media handle, right? Uh, for Facebook, Twitter, any, any social media platform, just to have it in one single place, but not necessarily to pull information like Soho. So, yeah. Uh, let me see, does Hotspot speak with Square? Um, that's something I haven't explored, Jennifer. That's a great question. I know, um, I know Square integrates with other uh, web, uh, websites such as Wix, WordPress, so on and so forth, but that's a great question. Uh, and that's 
something that I, I will owe you that uh, answer because I don't know if that's something that can be uh, integrated. And I'll find out here in a minute. Um, on the yeah, on Square or on HubSpot's website, if you do a, a quick search, it does have the ability to sync with Square. Um, to watch, there they have a, a blog post or kind of tutorial on how to how to sync that up. Um, I'm not sure which. Yep, actually they do. Just, it's a yeah. So what? Um, I don't know if that's what you did to. Um, uh, Robert, but I simply uh, Googled it and it, it does have an integration, uh, Hotspot and Square. So, uh, yeah. and then you can always look into videos in order, you know, for just for tutorials on how to do that. So thank you for that, Robert. Um, are you familiar with Inside View? Uh, I am not familiar with Inside View. Is that the one that you were mentioning, Robert? Inside View? No, I haven't heard of Inside View. Okay. Um, Stephanie, I believe you mentioned some CRMs offer a mobile version. Can you please advise which programs offer a mobile version? So Salesforce has a mobile version. Uh, Soho is also, uh, uh, you can access it. Actually, any of these you can access from mobile, uh, but the ones that are going to be more mobile friendly, it's going to be um, uh, Streak, Hotspot, and Freshworks because those are the ones that are directly integrated with um, like Google, uh, Google Workspace, Gmail, uh, things for you, for those of you that are always on the go. I never use Soho on mobile and I know that you can still access it, but it will be like just going through your regular browser. And then Salesforce does have an application that you can download. Uh, the only thing with Salesforce is a little bit limited, you know, such as, um, uh, it's mainly for you to be able to find information or enter information um, <clears throat> and look at the, the sales uh, channel status or some kind of a deal, but you can't create anything new. Uh, in order for you to create anything new, you have to go to the desktop version. So just so you know, uh, these are great questions, guys. Um, let me see. Uh, What is a sales channel and how would you incorporate this? Yeah, that's great. So a sales channel for, so for example, you know, one of my business is a marketing agency. And so a sales channel is the process that we have in order to convert a lead all the way into a converted uh, customer. So if I, somebody placed a phone call, like, hey, I'm interested in your marketing um, services, that's a lead, right? So we enter, we take that information, we put it in the system, and then we set up an appointment uh, for two weeks down the line. Um, and so once we're in that appointment, you know, one of the processes within our sales funnel or channel is to understand the needs for that specific client. And then the next step is finding a package that will meet the needs of the, of, of the, the small business owner. And then we start talking about pricing, and then finally convert them into a paid customer. So that's my sales fund, right? That's my sales channel. And so, as, but that's, that's the example for a marketing agency. Now, if you are a, uh, you provide, um, uh, I don't know, any kind of other service, maybe you're an esthetician or what's the sales funnel or channel look like and how are you going to convert that and incorporate or create that channel in your CRM? Right, maybe they 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 visited your website, but they never purchased purchased anything, and your your CRM is integrated with your website in order to communicate to each other. Uh, you know, if it captures some type of information, you may be able to find the end your CRM, place a phone call, and say, "Hey, we we noticed that you visited our website. Do you have any questions?" That's start. That's the starting of a sales funnel or channel, and so it, that sales channels are going to change depending on the business model, uh, the industry, the sector that you're in. And so each one of you will have a different one depending on your type of business. And I hope that answers your question. Um, also to tie into that, Alex, mm -hmm. um, for all of these CRMs and, and pretty much all the CRMs out there, most of them have blogs that they do and they have topics on creating sales funnels and sales channels within their CRMs and they'll have articles on how to do that 
uh, for their CRM. Yeah. I was just uh, looking up a couple of the blogs and they all seem to have a similar type of article, but related to their CRM. So yeah. um, if you have one of those CRMs or if you're doing some research to, to find out which one might be best, um, check out their blogs as well, because you might find some that they have articles to help support your type of business better. Yes. Yeah. And, and most of these are customizable. So you'll be able to create a sales channel according to your business. Um, last question we have is, can I assume uh, MailChimp, that MailChimp integrates with these programs? So most CRMs, Evelyn, they have their own um, ma um, mail, uh, email campaigns or email integrations um, or tools and features. So I have, if you are using, for example, Hotspot, you won't need to use MailChimp or any of those other ones because they each one of these have their own. Um, you, I, I believe you can still make them integrate, <clears throat> but honestly, there's no need for most of these because they already have it integrated. And that's part of, like for the hotspot, that's one of the free actually features, which is pretty much like MailChimp and Constant Contact, with it, which allows you to send up to 2000 emails per month uh, at no cost. It's the same thing with Hotspot, right? And so I know Soho has the same thing as well as, uh, uh, what's the other one, uh, Salesforce. And then of course, Streak, it seems like it's already integrated with Gmail. So you, it should have some kind of features. I, again, I have never used Streak, it's a new one for me. And so I would definitely uh, encourage you to look for those. But if you, the idea with CRMs is that you don't have, you know, a thousand logins for every single sales uh, funnel or every, every single uh, 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 business processes, right? That's what CRM is for. So you can have everything in one place instead of having to use MailChimp and then Square for payment processing and then uh, Monday for appointments. Um, a CRM integrates all that into one single place. So again, just to answer your question, most of the CRMs, they have already an email campaign or email feature so that you don't have to uh, repeat it again with a different, uh, a different software. Excellent, uh, perfect timing. I think that, that puts us real close to the end. One thing I wanna reiterate to everyone is um, that's still online is CRMs, it takes a little bit of work on the front side as you're setting it up. But the whole idea is it's going to help automate your business and, and some key components of your business so you have more time to focus on your business um, and less time doing some of the admin things that these CRMs can help help automate. So, um, Alice, any last uh, comments as you wrap up? Um, you know, if you have any questions, the contact information or my contact information is on the screen. Uh, please take a photo, a screenshot or whatever it is and just uh, feel free to give me a call. And as we mentioned earlier, we do have the SBA Prime program that allows you to get one-on-one -on -one business consulting at no cost to you. So if you have questions about that, or if you find that you found a CRM, but you still have questions and you need training on it, give us a call. We can actually train, in, uh, train you on some CRMs as well. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. Uh, appreciate you being on here today with us. It was a great presentation. I want to thank all of our attendees for being here with us. And we hope to see you next Tuesday uh, for our next uh, boot camp session. Until then, everybody have a great week and we will talk to you soon. Thank, Thank you. you for having me.